Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today I want to have a brief look at the Calculate Linux distribution. I don't think I've looked at this one in almost a decade. Uh, shortly after we started the channel, in fact. I believe I was still living like two or three apartments ago. Who knows? But anyway, today I wanted to talk about Calculate Linux. This is a Russian-based distribution which is based on Gen 2. And this is nice because, of course, Gen 2 is a, uh, it is a distribution, of course, it's very difficult to get set up. Although once you have it set up as one of the better Linux distributions, it is much more streamlined than other distributions. It has a lot of stability, which is exactly why Google chose a Gen 2 build to base Chrome OS on. And so what you get with Calculate is an easy to install instance of Gen 2. So it's a little bit more streamlined on the resources and it does have basically Gen 2 under the hood without having to go through the hassle of compiling everything. So I had a look at it here and I downloaded the version which is um, from the Cinnamon desktop. So we are actually looking at a Cinnamon desktop, uh, although it kind of looks more like Nomi, but it's just the way they have it configured. Very clearly the Cinnamon uh, panel, they just put a panel at the top, they put a, uh, a dock at the bottom, and they set it up just like this. We can see that it is running 1.6 gigs of memory, but notice we also have, uh, we also have a um, uh, Chrome, uh, Chromium tab open as well. And so you can have a look at their webpage, calculate-linux.org, and uh, you can get in here and have a look at the uh, how the distribution looks. You can grab a desktop, a cloud, a testing, or a server. So this is nice in that uh, they do have a nice server build and they have the desktop builds. Within desktop, you can choose your editions. We have KDE, Cinnamon, LXQT, Mate, XFCE. We have a Scratch edition and there is an XFCE Scientific Edition as well. So you can grab the one that you want. I grabbed the Cinnamon Edition. Now as far as uh, getting this set up here, it is very easy to get set up. The um, installation is a little bit different. Let's go ahead and have a look at that here. We're gonna start with selecting our language and then we are going to run our Calculate here. Now this is booted up, we're going to go ahead into our Calculate Linux install. Now under our advanced settings, there's advanced settings for almost everything. This In this case, it's the keyboard layout and the hardware clock type. If you don't know what those settings are, uh, you can just go ahead and leave the defaults. That'll be just fine. Here we're going to pick our time zone. So I'm in New York time zone, so we're going to do that. Hit next. And then this is the, we've downloaded, of course, the um, uh, Cinnamon desktop of this. There are another options down here that uh, you can actually go down and pick different ones. I don't know if that will download different ones on or if it will install the uh, other desktop environments from the repo. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just going to leave those ones alone. And then under our uh, installation type, let's see... Here's our layout. So uh, this is the various layout. There's some advanced settings in there as well. And we're going to go ahead and click next. And then you can migrate your network settings. So right now we're just directly on a virtual machine. If you, uh, so if you entered a Wi-Fi password here to get in, you can migrate the current settings from over here. You can manually um, uh, configure it there as well. So there's some other options as far as that. Now as far as your users, here's your root password. You can enter your root password. That's definitely not one, two, three. And then use the root password to edit if you need to. And then over here it says guest with administrator full access. You just come over here and click on that. We'll just do calculate. And then full access or just system updates. These are the default groups. So if you want to copy all these groups, if you want to create another username here, so we'll go ahead and enter our super secret password there again. Under next, we have options to choose Pipewriter or ALSA. And then there are some advanced settings as well. So if you want to uh, look at your uh, default audio cards, you can change what those are going to be. And then under our video, once again, we can do auto detection. We can do 
AMDs, you can do some Intels, there's generic VESAs. I'll just go ahead and keep it there and then you can set your screen resolution here and this works really well that you don't have to reset your screen resolution. Uh, as you see right here, we're on a small screen resolution based, based just on my uh, virtual machine. Go ahead and hit our next and then this is do you want to automatically check for updates? If so, what is the frequency you want those? 6, 12, daily or 24 hours. You can clean obsolete archives and then you can update other things there as well. So you can see that there are um, uh, there are um, various other settings and then once you hit next we start to install the system. It should give us I think a um, Yep, it'll give us the option to see everything that we set so you can verify everything. Hit run and then you'll have a good system installed in a few minutes. Let's get on back to the remainder of the video though. And now back to our build, how we already have it set up. So having a brief look at the applications, you can see it's uh, it has just the, the basic tools that we need. We have our you know our character maps, calculator. Uh, we just have, um, we have GIMP installed. I have GNOME Document Scanner with a full LibreOffice suite. The only application I installed was FileZilla, just to have a look at the installation. We have Evolution for email, the full LibreOffice suite. And you can see not a whole lot else. We have a, a basic, is it, is it Totem or Celluloid, one of those, whatever's probably based on GNOME. We have Rhythmbox and then some administration. Now, one of the downsides here is that we do not have a standalone software installer. You're either going to have to install one for yourself or you are going to have to uh, do everything in the terminal. Although we do have an update system. So you can go into the update system and when you pull that up, then you'll have the ability to update your uh, computer. So over here you can choose the stable only, which is the default. You can search for the most appropriate update server. You can save packages during build and then you can choose where your server mirrors are coming from and from where your repositories are coming from. There are some more advanced options in here as well. So you can flip through and see what all of the different options are. I updated this just prior to running it, so I am not going to do that again. I do want to see what edition of Cinnamon this is. It does look like an older version. Do we even have an about? There it is. I never remember exactly what that is. So, okay, we actually are on a pretty recent version of Cinnamon. Let me uh, check with my arch here. Let's see what my arch is running. And yeah, 6.4. So this one's running slightly older. Um, my arch system right now is at 6.4.10. Now I have not updated in a couple months, so there might be a slightly newer one. But uh, uh, Calculate here is running 6.4.8. So it is a, uh, a fairly up-to-date um, system as well. See, it is obviously running X. And I did not see if this edition would have um, the Wayland. I think it will have the experimental Wayland as an option. As far as uh, updating your packages uh, and installing packages, you're going to use Portage for this. So it's going to be all command based and a uh, command line based, and it uses eMerge. You can use the search tag, but if you want to install something, it's literally just eMerge and the name of the package. So to show you what this is going to look like here, let me pull up, well, let me pull up this one here. So we have a terminal here and uh, in our terminal. Now I don't, I'm not added to the sudo user. I thought I set that up during the install, but uh, to get into it, just do your, your SU and this will drop you into a root. So now we are here, we can do the emerge and let's, for example, search and see if Firefox is here. So just go ahead and do the eMerge search. It's going to look for everything dealing with Firefox. And you can see we have a Firefox, we have a Firefox bin. So in order to install this, just grab the eMerge and Firefox, and this will go ahead and install the package. So it's going to look for the local remote, it finds it, and then it's going to run through the whole process. All right, so now that is done, come here to our menu, and we have Firefox installed. So now we are good and you can see it actually added and this is because uh, Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon by default has Firefox set in the favorites. Looks like they didn't customize that to remove whatever that is. So once we installed that, then uh, that was uh, installed there. 
So let's go ahead and exit, and then we need to exit out of the terminal for a second time. So there is how we can uh, have our setup. So you can run through the wiki page on utilizing Portage. If you need to remove something, then you do the capital C will remove, or you can use a flag unmerge instead of emerge. And then here's your update instructions here if you want to do the updates through the terminal uh, instead of everything else. So you can read that whole uh, that whole page there. So the wiki to here does have a lot of extra information. Uh, you can talk about creating user accounts, operation, just all the various elements that you need. But what you're ultimately going to get here is a system that is a little bit more streamlined down. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a system that that is um, uh, relatively matched to your installation. So this means that uh, while most Linux distributions are much more portable because really everything is in there, what this one will do is it'll detect all of the system, like all of the uh, hardware you have and install basically to that, which makes it a little bit more difficult to move your, um, your operating system from one drive to another. Uh, that's been my experience with Gentoo in the past. I believe that is also the case here for, um, for Calculate. Uh, whereas, you know, on Linux Mint, you know, the whole kernel's there. So w migrating my drive to the, my, my old drive to the brand new computer was not a real big deal. So uh, there is what we have with Calculate Linux. So um, you can see it's, uh, it is just nice and uh, streamlined down. It works nicely. It is, uh, the packages are up to date. Now it is a fully rolling system, just like Arch Linux is. So anytime you run the update, you have the the latest version, and it does a pretty good job of keeping itself uh, up to date. It is quite snappy. Things work pretty well. You can see uh, even on a virtual machine here, things are loading up pretty quick. So here's our LibreOffice. Is the spieling checker working? It is. Look at that. The spieling checker is working. That used to not be turned on on all distributions, I don't know, for whatever reason. So there's our brief look at Calculate Linux. Let us know your thoughts. Have you used this? And if you have, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below.